What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're gonna to be working on the Datsun 280Z. We're gonna be doing a really easy job and just gonna be refinishing the chrome on the exterior of the car. This is a super easy thing to do and all of you can do it at home. So I'm gonna show you all the products that I used and how I did it, so let's get to it. And so there are not a whole lot of things you need to buy to do this job. I went ahead and used some old metal polish that I've had, which is the white diamond metal polish. You can get this at AutoZone, and I've used this in the past on stainless steel, and this wasn't quite strong enough to do the job. So I'm thinking on the softer chrome material, this might be a really good way to finish the material without doing any harm. Aside from that, I just have my drill with a polishing wheel on it. Really easy to find at Home Depot or Lowe's or AutoZone or anything. So check those out. They're like nine or 10 bucks some microfiber towels, some masking tape, and that's just it. It's a super easy job, like I said, it just takes some time, but there's a few things that I think we should do to make this job turn out really, really nice. We're gonna start at the back of the car here and the chrome trim that I'm talking about goes along the edges of your car. If you have a Datsun 280Z, 240Z, 260Z, you're gonna have very similar chrome trim and uh, this is stuff is really hard to find. So you wanna make sure that you're preserving it um, so because we're gonna be painting this car in the future, I'm not gonna be taking this out yet to refurbish it and polish it. I'm just gonna be doing it right here on the car. And really that's all you need to do because this is only the only part that's gonna be exposed in the car anyway. So rather than trying to do it off the car and maybe kinking it or bending it or something like that or losing some pieces, I'm not gonna do that. So uh, we're just gonna start back here. First thing I'm gonna do is mask off just the chrome. So I'll be right back and we'll show you what that looks like. And so there are two main reasons why you wanna mask off your chrome really nicely. One is because the metal polish is going to discolor any rubber that's around this. And second, it's also very likely gonna hurt your paint. So if the paint on your Z is pretty decent, you don't wanna mess it up, really take a lot of time to mask it off. So two main reasons for safety and to maintain what you already have. Now let's get down to polishing. And so a common mistake that a lot of people make is using way too much polish. So you really don't wanna be putting a whole bunch on there. I'm just gonna slowly rotate this. Oh, oh, that's a little too fast. We're gonna turn this down. Here we go. Just gonna put a little bit on there and I'm gonna work it in with my finger. The thing is about polish is that if you're polishing the metal and this thing's spinning and throwing polish off the wheel and it's getting dirt and it's really nasty, it's way too much. So really this just needs to be moist. It doesn't have to be totally you know, soaked and stuff. And then all you really want it to do is kind of be like a, an abrasive lotion that gets put on top of it. And so what that's gonna do is that's basically gonna smooth out the surface. So let's take this over to the car and get to work. I really want to get you right. To find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams All right, and so now that we've done our little tiny pass first, let's go ahead and wipe it down. And check out that reflection. And then we'll eventually we'll make it to the original. So much more scratched and dull. And it's just that easy, guys. You spend more time masking it off than you do actually doing the polishing. So just a little bit of polishing all the way around. I'm gonna continue and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done. Yep, so uh, this is gonna be satisfying. Right, the tape is removed and this part of the car is somewhat done. The finish is super, super nice now, but this is just one small step in the rest of the car. We've got this trim, we've got the door handles, we got the front trim and the other side. So there's a lot to do. So let's get over to the next part. And so I'm pretty excited for this one. I think it's gonna be pretty satisfying. So let's see how shiny we can get this old chrome on the door.
Okay, so it does look a little bit better, but I have a feeling that these door handles have run their course. Probably just need to get them re-chromed at this point. So I'm just going to leave this one like this. You don't want to go too far and damage the finish. Next, we're going to do the uh, trim around the window here, and I think this one is going to turn out really nice. I mean, if you look at this, it's just super, super dull and scratched up. I don't know if it really comes across on camera very well, but this stuff is definitely showing its age. So I'm excited to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison of what these two look like. So let's get to it. Yep, it's looking so much nicer. All right, boys, let's jump into a time lapse and get this thing finished. Well, and it's definitely looking way, way better, so I'm happy with that result. Um, I think the next challenging part is going to be the back window and the top water channel. Um, but the other stuff is just rinse and repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue on with this. I'll show you guys the finished product when I'm done. A few moments later. All right. So after working on this for a little while, it looks really, really nice. Not perfect, but you know, I didn't want to take it too far. I actually had quite a bit of trouble getting up here just because the attachment I had is not really suited for it. And actually, I'm gonna talk about that attachment right here. So it actually wore out quite a bit and it's actually pretty abrasive now. I tried cleaning it, but really it's just kind of garbage now. So what I had to do is I had to go to the store and I got some new attachments because I think you need more than just the one to do the whole job. So I got some of these, got them from Lowe's. Again, they're super, super easy to find. And I think this is gonna work a whole lot better for getting in underneath the uh, drainage channel and in these other tight spaces. So I think that's gonna work a whole lot better than the other one did, and same goes for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. We're gonna do the other door, and then we'll do the windshield, and we should be done. So let's keep going. guys so I think the car turned out really really good and just like I said before this is a super easy job that any of you can do so I wanted to do this because this is one of those things that people are gonna see your car and they're gonna be like you know what it looks really nice and I can't just can't put my finger on it and see it's these little details that are really gonna make the difference so I'm gonna cut to it before and after but if you guys enjoy these types of videos go ahead and like the video if you've seen a couple of my videos and want to see more subscribe to the channel but otherwise guys thanks for watching and we'll catch you later